Maine's changing climate is affecting tides, growing seasons, and even some of the storms we get. And a new study from the University of Maine and the Maine Forest Service says the spread of the hated brown tail moth is also due, at least in part, to climate. New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan reports. That's uh, the enemy. That's the enemy, and that's a very good uh, description of them right there. The enemy for thousands of Mainers is the brown tail moth. In particular, the caterpillar stage, which is still tightly wrapped in these winter leaf shelters called webs. Always found at the tip of branches, mm -hmm. and you can see that they've pulled leaves together. And what it does is actually they produce the silk and it comes all the way down to the stem. Jeff Harriman of the Maine Forest Service says each little leaf web can hold anywhere from 25 to 400 tiny brown tail caterpillars all ready to wake up as temperatures warm and begin eating the leaves. Eventually with this number of webs in this tree it would probably defoliate most of this tree. And those caterpillars will drop toxic hairs that cause miserable skin rashes for people. The brown tail has been around Maine for more than a century but had been isolated for much of that time to parts of the mid coast. Then in the last few years, it exploded. Last year especially, brown tail caterpillars and the moths spread to many parts of Maine that had never seen them before. Weather may be one of the reasons. Maine had an exceptionally dry spring last year, and Jeff Harriman says those conditions really helped the caterpillars to spread. But the bigger and longer term reason, according to a study by the University of Maine and the Maine Forest Service, may be Maine's changing climate. But if you look at towards the horizon at the tops of the trees, you can see that um, wherever there are oaks um, around here, there are a good density of um, overwintering webs at the tops of the trees. Dr. Ellie Groden is surrounded at her home by brown tail, the insect she has spent years studying. Recently retired from the University of Maine, she helped to lead the four-year study showing the brown tail climate connection. We see a steady increase and in almost in turning towards an exponential increase in the average temperature in August and September. That's one of their main conclusions. Just as Maine's growing season has increased by two to three weeks, Warmer Septembers are leading to more and more brown tail caterpillars. Late summer, early fall, when the, when the brown tail moth eggs hatch and those early caterpillars are feeding in the trees, I think the, their robustness and their uh, added maturity from the warmer temperatures enable them to survive the following spring when they come out of their webs. Dr. Groden says they do not yet see a climate link to springtime rain. Looking at 100 years of records, she says some springs are dry and others wet. Most people don't want to hear wet, wet gloomy springs, but uh, that helps with a fungus that actually uh, yeah. kills off the population. But the researchers say the climate trends for warmer summers and early falls seem clear, meaning the best we can do about the brown tail may be to wish for spring rain. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. The Forest Service is advising people to cut any of those brown tail moth webs out of their trees as soon as possible or get someone to do it for you. There is a link to more details on our website and mobile app.